Okay, dear students, let us see what is there. A charged sphere in a gravitational field is initially stationary between two parallel metal plates. There is potential difference V between the plates. So uh, there is a gravity acting on this uh, body. So let us say that the weight is acting downwards and uh, three changes can be made. Uh, number one, increase the separation of the metal plate, increase potential, apply the magnetic field into the plane of paper. That actually doesn't make any sense, although, but anyways, what changes made separately will cause the charge to sphere to accelerate. So let us see. Now it is given that the sphere is initially at rest. So how come it is initially at rest? Because the weight is acting in the downward direction, then why the um, this uh, charged sphere is not falling? Why it is not going downwards? Obviously, there has to be an equal and opposite force that would be acting in the upward direction and hence the net force on this charged sphere has to be equal to zero. Otherwise, there will be a motion. So it only means that it is experiencing some electric force um, towards uh, in the upward direction and both of these forces are equal. So what else is given? The potential difference V is given and the distance between them is not given. Let us say that this distance is L and the charge is Q. I'm just going to create a general formula out there. So we know from the electrostatic that E is equal to minus dV by dR which can be written as basically minus V by L because uh, the electric field is constant. It is uniform uh, between the plates. So it can be simply written as minus V by L. From here, we can say that the electric field will be equal to V by L. That's it. So what is this force? This force will be Q into E. So the force in the upward direction will be Q into E and E is V by L. So Q into V divided by L. So this is the upward force and downward force is constant. It is weight. Now it means that this force is equal to W. So what is our general equation now? The upward force Q V L is equal to the downward force weight. Now the three changes that can be made increase the separation of the metal plate. Let us see. If we increase the separation of the metal plates, then what will happen? The potential is not going to change. What is the potential difference? First of all, potential difference is actually uh, equal to the potential, the battery that uh, we are applying here. Basically, this is what it means. So this will be positive and this will be negative. So this is what it means. So this is V. Okay. So now obviously V is constant. The charge on the sphere is constant. If you are changing L, the upward force is going to change. If you increase the distance between two plates, the upward force is going to decrease. So definitely the body will start accelerating downwards. There will be a net force in the downward direction. Now point number two is increase V. If we are increasing the V, the upward force is going to increase and so the charged sphere will start moving upward with an acceleration. So it means in both of these cases there will be an acceleration. Apply a magnetic field into the plane of paper. Nah, this actually doesn't make a sense because magnetic field cannot apply any force on stationary charged particles. It can apply force only on the moving charged particles. So whether there exists a magnetic field or there isn't, that doesn't matter to us. It doesn't, it, it doesn't make any change because the charge initially is at rest. So there will be no force exerted by the magnetic field. So our answer will be A. That is 1 and 2 only. It cannot be 3. So my dear students, this is Professor Varun and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best.